So I'm gonna make a line. I'm gonna make a line not that big, you know, like that big. Right there. I'm gonna make a line. Whoa. I don't know what happened there. I'm gonna select. Why is why is my line tool bugging out? Okay. I'm going to select that. I'm going to make sure that it stays green. I'm going to pull it all the way over there. I don't want it to be exactly on a 45. I want it to be a little bit shallower because I want to pull this out. And if you look, when you use the new line tool like this, I can't select a voxel uh, that is here. So there's nothing there, yet it's displaying. And you can see that it goes all the way to the edge there. It's actually part of this one that is one in. So I can copy that and I paste it out. And I get this, this shape. This shape has... It takes... It extends even though that's just one one voxel it these corners are extended all the way to this far edge of uh, the neighboring voxel and that's what we're going to take advantage of the first thing we're going to do is isolate only one corner that's pulled out i only want that top i don't want this one. so I'm going to put a square block there. I put the square block there because what I did was I pulled this corner back to here by putting the voxel there. I don't want to put one here because I'll pull that one in and that's the one I want to keep. But I don't I want to keep the whole the like any other box, but I want that one pushed out. See, if I put that there, it'll turn it back into a cube. I want this one to continue to be extended beyond. Now, if I place that next to a voxel, uh, next to a, a normal square-shaped voxel, I'm going to push a corner all the way to the edge of the neighboring and I can demonstrate that real quick. So I've got this one selected. I'm going to copy it and paste it as if I put it. Sorry, it's hard to see now. over here. There we go. Here. So I'm going to put it next to it and in, uh, in the check mark. See that I've then pushed this corner all the way back to the other side. Now I'm going to set up a situation where I'm pushing all of the corners from from this side of the voxel to the other side. So I'm going to take my shape here and I'm going to line it up. Pull it. Oh, there's too much light. Really. There we go. Glad I can right right click buff stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them there. So I have I mirrored the shape so that if I were to place a box, if I were to put this next to a single square, I don't know what just happened there.
And if the single square were here, and I put these next to it, I would push these bottom corners all the way to the other side. So that, that's what I want to happen. But I also want it to happen with the top corners. So, I've got it there. I need to mirror it vertically and raise it one, two. Check. Okay. So, I've got that. Now, I'm going to add one voxel like this, just a single cube. right here, hovering in the air. I'm going to take all four of these, copy it, and paste it. I, I can even look. I'm pushing all four of those corners to the other side. And I did. So I pushed them, and I flattened it out. Now I've just got this tiny little flat square. Now, in order to make the shape that I was looking at, I want to push the corners on the opposite face over to the other side. I'm going to mirror this, and I'm going to put, if I look here, you see how I'm then, well, actually, why don't I copy this and paste it now? So, if we look on here, in the box, all of the, I pushed these four corners over to that side of the selection box. And it's this real thin sheet. And I want to then push the opposite side's corners that are actually living in the same space as the ones I pushed in. So there there are multiple corners occupying the same spot currently. But what I want to do now is I want to push the ones on the character's left side. Oh wow, I think my camera is mirrored. So I want to push them that way. But the ones on the left side, I want to move them to the right side. And I'm going to do it the same way that I did it the other way. What's up, Fugazi? And I did it. So I just put them in. And when you do that, because I'm pushing it from the left, even though I push the corners on the right to the left, I'm not affecting the corners on the right because they don't line up correctly. So that is how I make this shape. And what it is is all all of the corners are mirrored. So I've like turned a voxel inside out in a way. 